Are you team LeBron or are you team Durant? There's a lot of factors that go into it. LeBron's 4-0 in his last four All-Star games since they changed up the system. He's got the better team. He's the favorite. But Team Durant's got some young guns that might take an All-Star game a little too seriously. Kind of like the Russell Westbrook MVP year. Just takes it a little bit too seriously. Um, if you haven't guessed it, this video is going to be talking about the NBA All-Star game. I'm going to be looking at the lines of Team LeBron, the lines of Team Durant, the over-under, MVP, player point totals, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. What's up, everybody? My name is Matt Modai. I'm a content producer and betting analyst for Odds Jam. And as I mentioned in the top of this, today's video is going to be talking about the NBA All-Star game, best bets, all that good stuff. So as you see on the left here, we got Team Durant. Um, the important thing to note here is that Durant is not playing, so that's why he is in red. Same thing with Draymond Green. Uh, the starters are listed in bold, the original five starters. And uh, Trey Young is going to be taking Kevin Durant's spot in the starting lineup. On the right here, we got Team LeBron. Uh, the only player that is not playing on his team is James Harden. Again, the starters are in bold. So initial analysis looking at the team's rosters is I totally understand why LeBron James' team is the heavy favorite here. As you can see, the Odd Jam Perfect line has them at minus 198. They have Team Durant at plus 174. So there is uh, the heavy favorite being Team LeBron. And it makes sense. I mean, LeBron, Giannis in the same lineup is pretty devastating. Uh, they have Curry, obviously the shooter. Just it's top down, a better roster. But looking at Team Durant... Um, one of the things I've noticed in an all-star game is you have to find people that are going to take it a little too seriously. And I think that of all the players on both teams, I think that Kevin, Dur that Kevin Durant's team, Team Durant, has more young players that might take it a little bit too seriously. Let's, look, let's go through it. Joel Embiid, MVP year, always shows up in the all-star game, wasn't able to play last year. I could see him taking it a little too seriously, like the year Westbrook won MVP. They also have young guards and John Morant and Trey Young that are going to be starting. You can see them taking it too seriously. LaMelo Ball, his first All-Star game. Uh, and then on Team LeBron, obviously they have just competitive freaks like Chris Paul and, and uh, Jimmy Butler. Giannis is also someone that is going to be taking it more seriously than he should. But I could see LeBron in his old age taking it a little bit a little bit easy compared to how he normally does. And then Jokic, as amazing as he is, as good of a passer as he is, he is a valuable player because of the mind meld he has with his teammates because of he always finds them cutting and all that good stuff. Nobody tries in the All-Star game. So I don't know how well Jokic's skill set is going to be valued in the All-Star game. So if you couldn't tell by my what I'm saying here and my logic is, I am riding with Team Durant on this one. I, there is a ton of value on getting them at plus 185 here on WinBet. Um, the Odd Jam Perfect line prices them at plus 174. They price LeBron money line at minus 198. That is 24 cents in market width. Uh, if you remove the VIG, that puts Team Durant at about plus 180 as the true line. Obviously, the All-Star game shouldn't be analyzing math as much, but... We're still mathematically profitable betters, and there is some value on Team Durant at plus 185. So I'm going to go ahead and put 75 bucks on Team Durant at plus 185. I know LeBron has won four in a row and that that's risky, but I just have some faith in Team Durant and the young guns that are going to take this a little bit too seriously. Looking at the point spread, I don't really see any value here. Uh, Team Durant is, or is underdogs by plus five and a half. Obviously, there's no value on the spread getting them at plus five and a half. And I just took their money line, so I don't really like taking their spread as well. And then Team LeBron also priced at minus five and a half. Their Ajay and Perfect line is at minus 110. A little bit of value with the VIG not removed, getting them at minus 108 on Barstool, Bet Rivers, and Unibet. But again, same logic. I just took Team Durant money line, so I'm not touching the spread on this one. So the total is interesting, right? Um, right now, the Ajay and Perfect line prices the total at over under 320 and a half a little bit higher than what you see a normal nba game at obviously no one tries in these all-star games so that's why it's so high but unfortunately i hate to be this guy but there's some value in taking the under here 322 points we're betting on what's that 160 each is possible but uh looking at the odds jam perfect line and what you're getting in on sports books the value here is actually on the under so like i said odds jam line 
prices this total at 320 and a half with a little bit more juice towards the over that number but you can buy a full two points higher than that and get the under at minus 113 the under 322 and a half so it's not super fun betting unders especially for all-star games um, i know we don't have someone like ben simmons who isn't going to shoot but again I just bet where I see the value. And unfortunately, there is value on the under. I'm not going to put a ton on it because I get it. It's boring and it's lame. But like I said, I just bet where the value is. So I actually am taking this under 322.5. That is on Barstool, Bet Rivers, and Unibet. I'm going to go ahead and take this on Barstool. I'm only going to put 40 bucks on it. I'm going to put still make the heaviest bet I have on the money line for Team Durant. But I do think this is a valuable get getting the under 322.5. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. So unfortunately, there aren't any odds for player points on the odds jam perfect lines, so not touching that. Also not touching total points, odd or even, not good value there. But I do have some thoughts on the MVP. So right now, the betting favorite is uh, Giannis at plus 425. There are some players close behind him, like John Morant at plus 650, Joel Embiid at plus 600, and LeBron at plus 600. Most people after that um, are, are higher, like Steph Curry is the next highest at plus 900. So I do have some thoughts here. Um, the player I like the most and think there's the most value on, even though he is one of the favorites, is John Morant at plus 650. Um, John Morant has shown the attitude that he doesn't give an F about anything and that he just wants to win. Um, this is his first All-Star game as the starter. I do think that he's going to put a lot of effort into it. He's going to take it very seriously. And he's one of those players that only plays one way. So getting him at plus 650, I like a lot. Obviously, Giannis at plus plus plus. 425, you have to give some respect to. He's another player that just takes these very seriously. I'm not touching Le LeBron at plus 600. And beat at plus 600, I like as well, but not as much as I like John Morant. And then as far as a sleeper goes, um, I actually really like as a sleeper, Chris Paul at plus 4,000. Um, the logic here is that the Suns, having the best record in the NBA by far, still aren't getting a ton of love, both nationally and just based on the odds as far as their championship odds. I think that annoys someone like Chris Paul. I think that, you know, the human element, pettiness, is very important when betting on um, the outright MVP for the All-Star Game. So Chris Paul at plus 400 is my favorite sleeper, but my favorite overall bet it's going to be John Morant at plus 650. Regardless, I recommend putting money on both of those. And also, if you want, sprinkle a little bit on Giannis at plus 425. So no matter what, if one of those three wins, you profit some money. And that's all I got for you. So again, my name is Matt Modai, a betting analyst and content producer for OzJam.com. You can also find me on Twitter at Matt underscore Modi underscore bets. Um, would love to hear your thoughts on the video. Would love to know if you're tailing me in Team Durant and you're tailing me with my MVP picks as well. Giannis, John Morant, Chris Paul, all that good stuff. Um, you can hit me up, like I said, on Twitter at Matt underscore Modi underscore bets. You can also comment on the video. We love the engagement. Both good, bad, ugly, any of that stuff. Would love to hear some feedback. And other than that, Please remember to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff to the Odds Jam YouTube channel. We just want to help as many people cash, and we can do that by, uh, by you helping us out and helping us grow. But uh, that's all I got for you. So hope you enjoyed the video, and happy betting, happy watching, and good luck.